Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Savannah and today is the very first video in the van conversion series. I'm so excited to share with you guys the process of start to finish of converting my new mobile grooming van. Throughout this video, there's gonna be lots of different formats. Sometimes when I'm filming and talking, some other clips where I'm doing a voiceover. I honestly was just filming clips as we were going, trying to remember to film as much as I could, and then I thought I would figure it out in the end how to set it all up. In today's video, I am going to show you the van when we very first got it, when it was bare bones and had a bunch of shelving in it, and then all the way up to when we're starting to put walls up and the tub is in. I expect there's only going to be one or two more videos until the reveal video. In today's episode, you will see us put in a window, which was pretty terrifying because we had to cut a hole in the van ourselves. We couldn't find anybody in our city that would do it for us. We also put down the subfloor, we get our tub in, we put up a wall, the generators in, my water tanks are in. There's lots to see in this video, but there's going to be a lot more to come. So make sure you press that subscribe button down below as I would love to have you stick around as I upload new videos every single week. And for the next little bit, it'll be van conversion videos and how I started my business. Thank you so much for watching and I am so excited to start this journey with you guys. I am going to be showing you my new van that we are converting. Right now it's in our trailer parking. This is a 2016 Nissan NV. It's got these roof racks on it right now that we're gonna take off and sell. We just have it in our trailer parking right now as this is where we're gonna be working on it as it's being converted. This is nicer than any of the vehicles we own for ourselves, honestly. Let's unlock it and I'll take you inside. Right now she's bare bones. She's got these racks in it. Uh, plumbing company had this van before. So there are some shelves on both sides. But I wanted to take this clip before we take them out as I'm going away for the weekend and Corey's going to tackle this and sell them for us. So all this is going to be my grooming van. There's already a divider right here which is awesome. We don't have to put one in ourselves. This little door does open if you want it to. It's also all metal so I can use magnets on here which I think is going to be awesome. See, so this does open to the front here. There's a little console here, so you would have to climb over. So I don't know if I'll actually use this to climb through while I'm grooming or not, but I'll show you up here. Everything is like it's brand new. Also over here, I have an aftermarket backup cam. Hey guys an aftermarket backup cam which is going to be awesome because I'm going to have to get used to backing up this one and uh, as you can see I'm already decorating first decoration got a little succulent guy here also I love this center console here lots of space inside and then this here too since it's a work vehicle it's made so that you can write on here so this how does this work oh yeah this pulls up like this so that you can if you're sitting in the driver's seat you can write on it right here. Then it just pulls, pulls back in. So this is what we're starting with with my new grooming vehicle. I'm super excited to start the conversion. Hoping it's only gonna take us a couple months so I can get up and running here and we will be documenting the whole journey. Thanks so much for watching so far guys. So right now I'm just showing you guys the brand new Honda generator that we got and my fresh and gray water tanks. We actually got these tanks off of Kijiji from a farmer and they are food grade tanks so it's going to be perfect for grooming. They were super cheap which is awesome because ones from RV places are extremely expensive so we just have them stacked like this. Now we actually end up switching what side the generator and water tanks are on later on. Now up here Corey created this storage cupboard and we're just trying to make use of the space. I'm going to kind of explain to you guys what you're watching right now. Now, I'm a pretty spiritual person, 
and strongly believe in the law of attraction and thinking positively. So I decided I wanted to write a little note of everything I wanted to attract to myself in the van to keep me and the pets safe, to have prosperity, etc. So right now I'm just working on a little note that later on you will see me kind of fold up and tape to the floor before we put the subfloor down. So I'm just writing my notes here. And then I also make a little sachet with some crystals in it. I added aventurine, amethyst, rose quartz, and hematite. Now all these crystals have different properties that I'm hoping to bring into the van. And then I also chose to tape this down on the van right underneath the main spot that I would be grooming the pets throughout the day. So this is just a fun little thing I wanted to add in. At the end of the letter as well, I wrote um, how old I was, that right now I have Gracie and Boomer, that I'm married. I'm pretty sure I'll probably have the van until I'm done with grooming and nobody will have it after me, but who knows. Okay, so we're using an artist technique here to get the, what would you call this, dimensions yeah. for the flooring, how to cut this plywood for the flooring, because it has to go around these wheel wells and this front step part. So we're just using a piece of newsprint here and a pencil to trace around it to get our dimensions. us install the window so here is a little before slightly terrifying because we had to cut into the van about to hold this piece of metal while Corey cuts it out of the van I just want to kind of tell you guys why we're adding this window here since dogs get bathed in the van and it's a pretty enclosed space the roof vent that we put in along with this window is going to help with the humidity it can be really hard to get the dog's fur dry so it's going to help with that and also along with that it's also just a safety precaution so if somebody comes and oh you can see I'm like terrified here of how this is going to turn out but it's also just a safety precaution that if somebody comes and knocks on the van while I'm grooming, I can look out and see who it is before I just open the door. Uh, now we're laughing here, saying that we did it and we didn't completely mess things up. <laughs> She is all installed. We got a screen on this side. Looking good. The screen comes out. And it opens like this. It's nice and tinted, but I can still see out of it. Okay. 
doing a water test now to make sure we don't have any leaks. So Corey's just spraying it with the hose really good and I'm looking for the leaks. And here are the before and after shots for you guys. It went way smoother than we honestly expected. I also love how the window is, it looks tinted from the outside, but I can see from the inside out perfectly fine. So very happy with how it turned out. Today we are running all the wires for the lights, the outlets, and switches for everything. So, that's what we got so far. We did install the wall here. And we're just feeding wire. We also did our vent already. watching me being a goof but also just wiping down the walls before Corey spray foams. In the next clip you will see what it looks like all draped off before we spray foam but then I don't get a shot while he's doing it or even afterwards. I didn't film for a while after this I completely forgot but also I didn't want to film while he was spray foaming because he had to be fully suited up and with like this big respirator mask and I didn't have one. It's super unsafe to breathe that stuff in so I didn't get a lot of footage of the spray foam but after this clip that you're seeing right now it'll be kind of fast forwarded it'll be fast forwarded a bit and you will see it a little bit further along hey guys sorry i don't have anywhere to put the camera but it's been a little bit since i've done an update on our van conversion we've been so busy working on it that i've honestly forgot to film a lot of things so i'm gonna catch you guys up today i think the last time that i showed you guys back here there wasn't much back here so we've done a lot i think since the last time i filmed so this is what we're dealing with all the mechanical water plumbing so far in the back so we've got our wall up right here all this gray uh, square stuff is just insulation for extra sound insulation and vibrating of all the stuff going on back here. So this is fresh water, gray water, that is a water pump, a water heater, a big old generator here, my clipper vac, so all the hair gets sucked up into here while I clipper. This is my dryer, and then we have our electrical panel here. I have to make some labels for that. Up here, probably tonight, is going to go the shop vac that we just got in, and then we still have to uh, do all the plumbing as well. But this is where we're at with the back here. It's definitely coming along, and I think it looks pretty slick too. Moving along inside here, it's kind of a mess. We've got lots going on here, but we've got this plywood in for flooring. We have this wall of puckboard in. Right here there's going to be a bulkhead because of uh, some wires and stuff there. We have this half of the ceiling in. We've got these beautiful pot lights. Here is a roof vent that opens. This is the other side of the wall. And then this portion of the wall as well. There's going to be some trim in between this. And then this is our custom made tub. I will probably insert some more info about how we made this tub and how our friend designed it for us, but it's all custom. Underneath these mats here is a drain. I'll be talking a little bit more about this, but this side of the ceiling isn't done yet. An AC is going to go right there, and then puckboard will go over top of it. Got to figure out the storage area up here, and then the rest of this wall, and then hopefully next week my tub or sorry, my table will be in, that'll go right here. So lots has gone on in this main area. Definitely still lots more to go, but we are getting there guys. It's looking awesome, Corey's doing such a good job. He comes out here literally every day after work. So grateful for him. And that is our update.